Hello everybody, welcome back to more song reactions. This is taken from my August submissions on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you would like to submit your own song or album reaction suggestions. For those of you who don't know, I'm now jumping around. I'm not doing every song in order that I haven't heard. Um, I'm just kind of jumping around to what I feel is appropriate, either what I want, what I think will get views, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, just because there's so many re so suggestions now that I need to keep up. So, uh, we are now in Mojo Pin 83's comment. Uh, good friend of mine. God bless you, brother. I hope you're doing well. We are going to not do Achilles Last Stand um, because I am planning to go back to Led Zeppelin at some point and do a full album reaction for both Presence and In Through the Outdoor, at least. I might not do Coda, but I plan on doing those two albums at some point in the future, and I want to save that big song it's the opening song right for the opening of the album reaction so um that will have to wait i apologize but we will do a jeff buckley track in case he doesn't know he's a massive jeff buckley fan from his name um uh from sketches for my sweetheart the drunk um which is a long album that i've wanted to do basically ever since i started reacting to stuff um but it's 91 minutes, and so it's kind of always been put on the back burner. But I am definitely open to listening to a track from this thing because I like Jeff Buckley uh, quite a bit, actually. Not I don't love him um, like I love my wife, but close. Um, some of his styles and genres uh, so, like don't quite mesh with me. Like when he gets a little grungier... I'm not fully there, um, and certain tracks I like more than others. In fact, here, you know what we'll do? I'll pull this back up, and I'll show you what tracks I like. By the way, haven't reacted to Grace because I've already heard it, um, but I will give you my my Grace song rankings here. Um, Love Mojo Pin, great track. Grace is incredible. Last Goodbye, a personal favorite. Lilac Wine, incredible personal favorite. So Real is fantastic. Hallelujah. Um, I would call it over. I would call it overrated, but I feel like it deserves the status that it has because it really elevated an already great song to next the next level. Lover, you should have come over. I'm not super big on, um, and this is kind of where it starts to fall off for me. Is kind of uh, around here. Uh, Dream Brother, I think, is amazing, though. Uh, but it's really Eternal Life and Lover You Should Have Come Over that are my least favorites. Corpus Christi Carol is fine. Uh, but Grace is just a fantastic album that I think everybody should listen to if they enjoy, you know, good old singer-songwriter alt-rock uh, from, from the past. Um, there's just a very nostalgic uh, and very, like, suave and, like, I wouldn't... I would call it sensual and romantic, but it's like that's not the main part of the music. You can listen to Jeff Buckley and not ascribe to that. Um, but there's just something about his music that is very mesmerizing, and he has an amazing voice. Um, but if you're watching this, I'm willing to bet you're a massive Jeff Buckley fan. You've already heard this song. So without further ado, let me hear this song. Arcade Fire? Who 
You know, Jeff Buckley made so much solid music. And I think that's part of the, like, this quest to have all this posthumous release. And, like, as you can see, it's, like, in a way, this is, like, kind of archival. This is a posthumous release. But, like, um, I don't know. Is, is all this stuff considered archival? Is this archival? Does it say? It should be. Um but, like, he made such solid music that, like, people are, like, glomming at any chance they can to, like, get a hold of things that he did. Um, and I know, like, that he, this was came out in 94. He died in 97. Um, was that right before he was planning to m release a second album? Or he was working on a second album or was starting to work on a second album? It's something like that, right? Um but like it, uh, that was great. That was a great little piece of singer songwriter alt rock from the '90s, and it bridged two styles of Buckley that is very common, which is the the dissonant and uh, like he seemed to use a lot of tritones and like uh, semitones, like a lot of very grating dissonant stuff, and then would just kind of let it release into typical alt rock chord progressions you know like one to four one to five whatever um so there'd be a tension and release with his music and i think that's why people found him so evocative because it was like it was a taste of the experimental or the art or the avant-garde mixed in with just the alt rock you were used to from that period and the more i listen to him or the more songs i hear from him the more i hear that um, and it's just really solid stuff, really solid stuff. So thank you, Mojo Pin. Um, and until next time, everybody, I'll catch you around. Godspeed.